Hi guys, I wanted to make a quick last minute tips video ahead of your IGCSE Edexcel physics exam this week. The first thing is, obviously the physics exam has a huge mathematical component. Really handily, you're going to be provided with the equation list this year, so at least that's one thing you don't have to learn. But obviously it's still going to be a challenge recognising the appropriate equation to use. My biggest tip here is every time you're given a number, write next to that number what it means, whether it's a distance, whether it's a force or acceleration. By writing it in your own hand, as opposed to it being part of the text of the exam paper, will make it so much easier for you to recognise which equation you need, because you'll be looking, for example, if you're looking for speed, you'll have the distance and the time written out, and that will help you identify the appropriate equation. The Suvat motion equation, V squared equals U squared plus 2AS, is sometimes quite hard to recognise. Um, and that's because S, in this case, stands for distance, which is quite unusual. So do make sure you're happy recognising that. And in all honesty, there should be an awful lot of numbers in that part of the exam paper, because it V squared, U squared, AS. So if in doubt, that's what you're looking for. Pay particular attention to units. You want to be using standard scientific units here. So quite often they'll give you an answer or a question, sorry, in terms of milliamps. That needs converting to amps by dividing by a thousand. Often you'll need your time in seconds. They like to give you that in hours or days. So remember to get from minutes to seconds, you times by 60. To get from days to hours, you times by 24. So do have a look at that and make sure you're fine converting units. And the last thing I want to say is try and learn the unit for each thing. So current is amps, charge is coulombs, resistance is ohms. You do need to spend significant time double checking that because you don't want to be losing these little marks all the way through. Also pay attention if they ask for a specific number of decimal places or significant figures. You don't want to be dropping an odd mark here and there for that. The next thing I want to say is, where possible in an explanation, state an equation. So, for example, if they ask you why a knife is so sharp, it's because the area is extremely small on that cutting blade. And then according to the equation, pressure equals force over area. Because that area is so small, you're really going to increase that pressure value. And actually that pressure is what you need in order to cut foodstuffs. So do try and state an appropriate equation. If you're asked to plan an investigation, obviously use the variable layout, which you've probably heard me banging on about endlessly, the independent variable, what you're going to change, the dependent variable, what you're going to measure. Do specify that measuring equipment. So if it's the distance around a cycle track, maybe use something like a trundle wheel, but do provide suitable apparatus. And then if you're being asked to find the speed of the cyclist, again, you'll need to state the equation, speed equals distance over time. Right, I will upload a video straight after your exam just to hear how you guys have gotten on. Let me know, you know I'm dying to hear everything.